in the urban debate now we keep talking about fake news and the impact of fake news on our lives i had a first hand experience of fake news this week a colleague sent me a screenshot of a tweet that looked like it came from my twitter handle i was shocked i hadn't written it in fact i hadn't tweeted anything for a week because i was traveling but this particular visual was going viral on whatsapp on the 9th of july just yesterday a photograph was doing the rounds it seemed like a tweet that came from me it justified child trafficking on the basis of religion it was on troll pages on facebook named prostitute and dark tweets from a liberal basement in fact dark tweets from a liberal basement is a is a facebook page that photoshops tweets on a regular basis and puts it out and this tweet was a photoshopped image of my twitter handle to add to it they had captioned this image saying insane and she's a journalist wonder what will happen if modi loses when we looked closely at this picture we noticed this and it circled on your screen the words fictional tweet with an asterisk at the bottom of the photograph written in gray almost difficult to see this was obviously put there by the person who designed this photograph just in case they got into legal trouble in case i filed a complaint but if you look at the photograph it's not very easy to point that out a lot of people would have assumed it was real several people on whatsapp and facebook have assumed that this atrocious tweet was in fact something that came from me people forward things on whatsapp so quickly without actually examining it that they're going to believe that this is real this is an example of what fake forwards and fake news can do the motive was obviously to discredit me to crush any dissent to single me out based on my religion And while many commented on those Facebook pages that this was a fake tweet, the prostitute didn't budge until I broke my silence, and then the prostitute as a page took down the post. Dark tweets from a liberal basement as a page still has the post up. This is how fake news is spreading in India. This is the reason why we have instances of mindless lynching on fake WhatsApp texts and Facebook posts. A campaign we're running on Mirror Now has obsessively been talking about the fact. that we need to get sharper and more careful when it comes to our whatsapp forwards for this particular tweet we have already gotten in touch with the authorities to find the person who did this and make sure he doesn't do it again but once again i appeal to you let's not fall prey to fake news and fake information and whatsapp which has become a hotbed of vermin that's spreading hate and lies in an attempt to divide us based on our religion and our differences We must hit back with cold logic and with the truth. To the people who put up this tweet, I will have you know that I am not at all afraid of you. And you can continue to spread lies, and that won't matter to me because we will come back to this channel and to this office and to this studio every day and continue to do the work that we are doing. And the fact that you are running scared is a signal that we're doing the right thing